Hey everyone, my name is the Theme Park Evangelist. I am back at the Cincinnati Zoo again for my fourth year in a row. Now, this is my third vlog just this week alone. Sunday night I was at Kings Island vlogging Winterfest, which unfortunately got cut a little short due to a sudden, and I do mean very sudden, severe ear infection that Katie got. We literally arrived just about four o'clock and we already were leaving by about six o'clock. That's how sudden it got. I mean, we were uh, over by Tom and she and all of a sudden her eardrum burst and she started screaming out. She was crying. My heart broke. But at the same time, I was also kind of feeling like not sorry for her at the time because I was like, um, kind of told you not to come, but you did anyway. But after getting a little lecture from her mother, I'm more apologetic for her. So surprise for you guys, no Katie tonight since she needs to stay home and recover and rest and get better again. So she can, Lord willing, join me at Friday at the Ark Encounter. I have Danny and Daniel, who work in, at Kings Island and Entertainment, joining me. And they're actually helping me get into the park, the zoo, for free. Cool, right? So they should be over here. And um, you guys will see them in the next clip. All right, we're officially on clip two. Look who was a, nice enough to help me get in here. May I uh, introduce Danny and Daniel. Hello. I'm sure you guys have met them before. You just don't recognize them because they're out of costume. But these are my close friends that work over at Kings Island and Entertainment and they have some amazing characters, but I'm not gonna say out loud. You guys probably remember this from last year. We have the amazing and awesome Rainbow Arch. Oh, we're over by the giraffes. <laughs> Definitely not as cold as it was a year ago. I don't even remember when I went last time. And yesterday was so cold. So I'm glad I did not come last night. Oh, there they are. Yeah, you're right. It was so cold last night that the uh, windows kept fogging up in the car. <laughs> yeah, there was frost all over your car when it came home last night. Yeah. One right up against the grass and the last Yeah, I did the Coney Island lights last night. 20 minute wait just to get in. Ooh. Yeah. Worth it though? Oh, always. Does it drive my medical issues crazy? Yes. I get that. Do you know what animal that is? All right getting towards base camp now, which is like the hub of the Cincinnati Zoo. And I know if uh, Katie were here, she'd probably make me stop and get her a Pepsi. Because <laughs> that's Katie for you. I don't, I kind of want to go towards Fiona. <laughs> All right, let's do it. I don't have Katie here, so I don't have a reason to stop and get Pepsi. She almost made me buy her a stuffy. And I was like, oh, great, you're spending my money without even being here. And then she goes, oh, never mind. I'll just have you uh, buy it online for me. I'm like, thank you. That's a lot better. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I don't remember that at all. I think there's like five. I don't know. Oh, that's pretty. You know about these things? What is that? So they're like little keys you can get for like three dollars, and then you put them in the slot. What? And what? Oh, and it allows you to try to listen to that. Yeah. Yeah. That is so cool. Yeah, I was wondering how you unlock those things. Some of them work, and some of them don't. 
This, this one, one apparently does not. Yeah. Work. One apparently does not, but I have seen them working, so. Yeah, they're really cool. Never do Spanish, it's so loud. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So what do you guys think about being in my vlog? Cool, right? Love oh. it. I've been vlogging for over seven years now. Yeah, I think I saw your like anniversary vlog. Did you really? Awesome. Oh, I'm gonna say this on camera. I am going back to Central Florida in late February. And I'm even more excited to say I'm gonna be staying overnight at a Disney resort. I'm leaning towards, believe it or not, Animal Kingdom Lodge. There's another one. And my, Animal Kingdom Lodge would be amazing. My, uh, my friend asked me, so which side do you want to stay on? Do you want to stay on the lake side or the savannah side? I said, uh, the savannah side. Because giraffes literally will walk up to your balcony and you can, like, go up to the giraffe. <laughs> I mean, how cool is that? This is an actual resort of theirs. I want to go to Art of Animation. That's where Katie wants for us to stay for our honeymoon. And I'm like, really there? <laughs> it's a cool place. It is, it is. They have a little mermaid suite. A Do Lion King, a little... One? Yeah, of course, because she's obsessed. <laughs> I mean, not that you would know that. <laughs> Uh, they have a uh, Little Mermaid, Lion King, Cars. I forget what else they have. I haven't stayed at Art of Animation since November of 2012. Sorry, guys. No lie. You okay? You, if you ever want me to take any pictures, oh, hold on. All right, I'm not 100% sure where we are, but it looks like we are over by a Hot Cocoa Express. Oh, I know where we are now. This is one of my favorite areas when uh, I come to see the lights. I haven't told you guys this yet. So, my um, first time I ever came here to see the lights was back uh, November or December of 2020. And it was beyond freezing that night and of course everybody was required to wear a mask at the time that might be where the hot chocolate would go there oh yeah 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 i saw that it's like a dollar 99 for a refill and then if you go up there it's uh santa's up there oh wow really <laughs> yeah it's santa doing louisville zoo does a lot of really cool events too but the problem is they make you pay additional for it. Like, they did this really cool one that I only wanted to see. It was a Chinese lantern, but it was $25 a person. That would have been cool. That would have been cool. And then they charged, want to charge you for parking on top of that. And I've been tight on money this year. Oh, Lemur Lookout. Moto Dragon check. Oh, so Wings of Wonder Theater. I have a really cute show in there. I actually did watch the one back in the summer. It kind of reminded me of uh, Flights of Wonder at uh, Disney's Animal Kingdom. Just with a bit of a different twist. The show that starts in seven minutes. I'll take a pass this time, but thank you, though. There's the world of the insect. Unless you guys want to go in, I'm I'm good. There's the bumblebee. Oh yeah, that is a cool lantern. There's a detail too. Yeah, one of the uh, downfalls I had about going to the Great Creation Museum. I'm not saying this in a bad way. I just, I had to learn that I'm not going to make the same kind of hours that I was making at the Ark. But I've been saving so much money on gas. And it's been such a positive environment. So, 
if anything, I would say uh, I've not minded whatsoever losing the money just to work over there versus the Ark, you know? Oh, I love the museum. I've moved up a lot. And I only just hit my one year. I don't want to see that any full time position doesn't. It's hard to get a full time position at the museum, but the nice thing about the museum, if you tell them that you want to go for something, they will work with you to help you get there. And I really appreciate that about them. That's what makes that environment so nice. They've really been willing to work hard with me. I told them I wanted to learn the guest services counter come early November. I was learning it and I already know it by now. And they've already promised me I could work that all winter long. It's Simba. Plus, I don't know what you guys are doing during the winter, but I'm going to be uh, also deep cleaning the 4D theater and the planetarium. Ooh. Hey, I don't mind doing it. I don't mind getting down on my hands and knees. Simba. Jellyfish. Oh, this is an amazing shot. I'm going to pull over for a second. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, got it. Let's go through here. Under the sea. <laughs> oh, I hope I'm not in her way. Did I ever tell either of you how I met Katie? I'm doing a series on it, but... Have um, I... I have heard. I don't know if Katie knows. What was it? Have I ever told you how I met Katie? I don't think you have. So, long story short, officially how I met her... She moved up to Kentucky back in August of 2021, well, late July, to, from Eastern North Carolina to work for um, the Ark. And then after spending several months trying to figure out if she was interested in me or not, <laughs> by uh, come late May of 2022, I uh, invited her to my brother's birthday, and on June 10th, she asked me to be her boyfriend, and the rest is history. Which I think is hilarious and adorable at the same time. Usually the guy asks the girl, but in this case, the girl asks the guy. And there's something wrong with the girl, you know, taking a lead. It works both ways. It does. Oh, yeah. It depends on your preference. Yes, it does. Let's do it. I want you guys to keep walking up ahead. I'm going to get a picture of you guys. I actually got an amazing shot last year doing this. All right. And now. Got it. I can use that. That could be my custom thumbnail. This is literally one of my favorite shots. That's adorable. I love it. I love it. <laughs> this is such a beautiful area. It really is. Wait, what?
I love watching you guys dance, it's adorable. Yeah, these two are definitely made for each other. <laughs> and next April is actually going to be there one year. Ending the vlog, but I do have to say bye for now to Danny and Daniel. They are heading out for the night. They were nice enough to drive all the way over here from, um, let's just say, north of Cincinnati just to meet me here. And um, just uh, be praying for them because starting Friday, they're going to be working every single night nonstop at Kings Island for the remainder of the year. But they sound to be... They sound very optimistic about it, so that's a good sign. So uh, hopefully come New Year's Eve when I come to see you guys again, you'll still have that same energy love. <laughs> we got this. Yeah. I know they do. All right, so I will see you guys in a little bit, but let me say bye to them properly. So see you in a little, little bit. All right, it's just me again. So that was still, once again, extremely nice of them to... Uh, join me for part of my vlog and to help me out with tickets and um you know out of uh courtesy for them i didn't mention where they live but i have been to her uh, condo before now i will mention that they are dating however though they are obviously not living together but i'm sure in the future they will because the two of them definitely deserve each other like i said on camera earlier now, I'm going to go ahead and hop in line because I need water. Now, I'm going to be a savage, and I'm going to wait until after I leave here and stop at McDonald's and get a hot chocolate. I actually know of a really close McDonald's where I can get a $1 hot chocolate. It's um, something that I'm getting a coupon for. It's a $1 deal for all McCafe beverages. It is so nice. I love it. It was so hard for me to focus on vlogging earlier because of the fact that um, I don't get to see these guys very often like outside of Kings Island because they're always working or I'm always working. So we just pretty much talked the entire time, but I still got a, almost 20 minutes of footage so far. So I think I'm doing pretty well. Oh, wow. That's beautiful.
All right, Katie just called me and she said she is officially on her way home. Uh, apparently, uh, she stayed at my uh, parents' condo and spent a couple hours with my father, which I thought was really cool. And now my dad's having his Bible study, which he has with um, his uh, church's worship leader and uh, some other guy. I'm not 100% sure who that is. But yeah, it sounds like... Um, Katie is really trying harder to uh, make things work with my parents. Now, if I can just get her to do the same thing with my brother, things will get a lot better. It's gotten a lot quieter since Danny, Daniel and I were walking around. Now, I did mention that back on Sunday who Danny and Daniel um, are in um, their... Um, you know, who they uh, play as. But uh, the reason why I'm not going to say it now is because I have a completely different audience for um, this particular um, vlog versus, like, King's Island. That's That's my normal King's Island audience that usually watches that. So that's why I don't want to, you know, mention it. Now, I've already come this way, but I'm intentionally coming back this way just for a hot minute. Just because this time I just want to get a picture of the lights, but this time without anybody I know in it. Watch your head when you stand up. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's why I was trying to just squeeze on through as quickly as I could. Oh, yeah, it's Twinkle Trail. That's what Daniel was saying earlier. See, last time I did it before the train track. But this time, I want to get it before. Wow. Let's see if I turned out well. All right, well, I've officially made my way back. And I closed all three rings on my um what should we call it uh my smartwatch so i think i did really well well i gotta go pay for parking use the restroom and then i'm heading back to euclid avenue where my car is parked all right time for the Actually, short walk back to Euclid Avenue. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. I really didn't think... I thought it would be longer. And they actually have one of these zoo parking scan-to-pay things. They've made it very easy to... Um, pay for um, parking without actually having to go to the Welcome Center. I just decided to go ahead and do it anyway. So, I noticed that a souvenir hot chocolate mug was like $10, and then it was half that price for just a regular hot chocolate. Now, get this. For them to put some whipped cream on your hot chocolate, a dollar twenty-five, dollar thirty-five. I was like, oh my word. And then I guess what they call elephant ears is funnel cake, $8. Yeah, the Cincinnati Zoo is a little pricey, but I mean, at the end of the day, they do have some, you know, good prices, so I can't complain too much. Yeah, that's what threw me off. It was that sign that says Festival Lights Parking Turn here, and I was like, okay, I might as well. Even though technically the main entrance wasn't that far ahead. But I didn't realize how easy it was to, you know, park over here. Katie made it sound like it was, like, really hard to park over here. She was like, really, there are parking people over here? It was like a mile of a walk. But ironically, it was probably just as convenient to walk park over here. And then walk that short distance across. 
And here I was thinking, oh, it's going to take forever. But it wasn't. Well, guys, that does it for me for tonight. So tomorrow, all the way through till Thursday, only two days. I know I'm making it sound like it's a lot longer than it really is. I am working late at the Creation Museum. Tomorrow, I'm working 12 to 30. And Thursday, I'm working 11 to 7.45. But come Friday, I am off. So yesterday and today, I had the, the uh, well, not, well, I had short days, but I also um, got off early as well. So the nice thing is, uh, come Friday, I am off. And uh, the only thing I really have pressing is a haircut appointment at 3 p.m. I've decided I'm going to go ahead and get my oil change done on Monday morning, which is my next day off after that. So, with that being said, I will see you guys on Friday night. Let me turn on that light in here. Friday night at the Ark Encounter when I vlog what's new at the Ark Encounter this week Christmas time 2023 and Lord willing please be praying for her by the way Katie will be able to join me again so always remember I'm sorry about the glare by the way from the light but anyway always remember you can do all things through Christ to strengthen you have a great night peace out